previously on Wendy Valencia. I spend too much money online. I need mental help. These are some of the things that I have bought on Amazon in the last two months. Look at this. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. And if you are new to my channel, click that big red, the red one button down there. It says subscribe. And then go ahead and click that bell notification icon so you will be alerted every time I upload. I am going to share things I have spent money on recently that, I don't know, I felt like spending money on it apparently. Some of them were awesome, some of them less awesome. You be the judge. And FYI, none of this is sponsored. If I have links down below, they may or may not be affiliate links, depending on what I'm talking about. The first thing I'm going to tell you about today is a pair of pants. I have been in need of some new black pants for work, and I found a pair on this website that I frequently check out. It's called AliExpress. Their prices are so cheap. This is definitely a buyer beware website because most things you buy on there cannot be returned and I bought some really great stuff um, and I bought some horrible stuff so I found a pair of plain black pants I was super excited about wearing them they fit perfectly I was so happy with them I paid $9.99 for them and about two hours after I got there I noticed that the seam on the inside of my left thigh was starting to open and I was like huh and then I felt the seam on the other leg starting to open. And then a couple hours later, I felt the backside start to open. By the time I left the office, it was a fairly graphic situation. I had no bottom in these jeans. Well, pants, they weren't jeans. I had no bottom in these pants. And thank goodness I had a long black shirt on because you literally could see everything from the small of my back to like this far down my thigh. So my former boss's wife invited me to be part of her book club and I'm super excited to do it because it's called the Badass Women's Book Club and I'm badass. So you will notice that I have on different clothes. My hair is different. That is because it is the day after the event of yesterday. And I had a whole video planned out to finish this video and it was gonna be awesome. And then everything went horribly, horribly wrong. So let me tell you about the rest of the things that I have bought. I went ahead and picked up this book, You Are a Badass, How to Stop, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. Now, I will tell you I'm already a badass and I'm already awesome. So, um, but this is the first book in my book club and I did try and check it out from the library, but the one copy they had at the library in every single library within like a 10 mile radius was already checked out. So I'm assuming those are all the people that are going to be in the book club with me. This is not a book I've ever heard of and I'll let you know how it was. If you want to know, I uh, will tell you. Because we are doing um, the no Amazon spending, I went ahead and took all the extra money that I had set aside for Melina's birthday and I got her birthday presents. I got her Halloween outfit and um, a few other things that we needed for school. So some of the other things we spend our money on is Halloween. For Halloween, we are a huge Halloween fan. I like to go like all out for Halloween. We don't really do it here in my parents' house. We go a little bit out. Mauricio gets all dressed up and usually something scary. Uh, although one year he was Abercrombie man and just put on an Abercrombie sweatshirt and a bag over his head. And that's how he answered the door to hand out candy. And then one year, Last year, he was like this scary, frightening thing. Most of the kids, he always lifted the mask for the littlest kids, but most of the kids thought it was hilarious. And he would just sit there in the doorstep, just sitting. And when the kids would come up, he'd start rocking back and forth and back and forth. So this year for Halloween, I 
I asked Melina what she wanted. She decided she had to be Moana. So we got her the Moana costume because while I am creative enough to create a costume from much cheaper items, I am not free of a lot of time. I don't have a ton of time free. My days are pretty scheduled to the hills. So I have a tendency to buy for convenience and I'm totally okay with that. I mean, legitimately, I am totally okay with buying for convenience. So we bought her the Disney Moana costume and it came and it is super high quality. I'm really impressed by it. Some of their costumes are more flimsy. This one was nice. And then we bought her a wig and of course she had to have the Heart of Tefiti necklace. And then as a surprise, one of her birthday presents is actually gonna be the um, Moana costume for her American Girl doll. It's super cute. Um, the other thing we had to buy is we bought a long sleeve long down to your ankles flesh colored bodysuit for Melina to wear under her costume for two reasons. One, the costume has like a crop top that comes above her belly button and then the skirt sits below her belly button. And Mauricio is super conservative with the way Melina dresses. So he wants her to have a bodysuit. He doesn't know if the kids are gonna wear costumes to school and feels like that's the most appropriate. And I'm cool with that. And the other reason is sometimes at Halloween, it is super cold. And I remember when I was a little kid, my mother would make me put my coat on over my costume and it would upset me to no end. I, I just would get so upset. So I figure with the flesh colored bodysuit at worst case scenario, we put the flesh colored bodysuit and maybe I put a turtleneck and leggings on underneath the flesh covered bodysuit, put the bodysuit on it looks like she's in a normal, you know, costume. So that is what we have done for that. The next thing that I purchased is actually a birthday outfit for Melina. As I have mentioned in my budget video, we are doing Melina's birthday at one of the local inflatable places that has these huge inflatables. One of the things she loves is to be able to have like a super flowy skirt when she does that. And of course we put her monkey bar buddies underneath. And if you don't know what monkey bar buddies are, I'll put a link to them down below. I love, love, love them. Super, super high quality shorts. I mean, the ones that, that she has had, they look brand new and we wash them every week. I mean, we have three pairs of them and we wash them every week and she wears them with underwear. So you can wear them a couple of times before you have to wash them. I cannot recommend them enough, super quality. So she wanted a flowy skirt and obviously her birthday is Moana themed. So I got her this adorable Moana t-shirt and it has a Moana with the number six and then her name underneath that. And I bought her a pediscurt to go with that. And it is so cute. The pediscurt is like in a coral color and then the piping around the number and her name will be in that coral color. And I think it's gonna be an adorable outfit for her birthday. This was an impulse purchase, but I will tell you it's something we're definitely gonna use every year at Christmas time. Melina and I make one ornament for her Christmas tree because holidays are big in my house and so Melina has her own beautiful Christmas tree for her bedroom and it's white flocked. It's gorgeous. It's got bright colored balls all over it. And then we decorated it's butterfly themed. So every year before Christmas, we make a butterfly ornament and I will actually be posting a video that I filmed last year because we, we made her butterfly ornament super late and I didn't have time to get it up. So I will be posting it before Christmas this year. But every year we make a butterfly ornament. And this year, sometimes we do it from scratch and sometimes it's a kit. And this year I decided I happened to be looking for some other stuff for her birthday. And I saw two kits for butterfly ornaments. One is for a stained glass butterfly ornament by Melissa and Doug. And the other one is an American Girl doll like sewing ornament. And I really liked the sewing one, but I was a little nervous that it would be out of her age range. So I went ahead and got both and I figure I'll use one this year and one next year. So we're covered for the next two years. So I'm super excited about that. Then the next thing that I purchased was water bottles. We have historically just used whatever water bottles we had around, but cheap water bottles I had for school last year, They've started leaking and it's been a problem. So I've been gradually throwing them away and we're down to like 
two water bottles. So a couple of weeks ago, I had to purchase new water bottles and they haven't actually gotten here. But um, let me show you what I did with them because it's super, super cute. Okay, so those water bottles um, haven't come in yet. So this is when we had, it's a thermos water bottle, which I love. And we got these off of Etsy. I had just these cute little stickers. They're like glitter stickers made in the name, in her letter C, M, C, E, V. And I put them over the water bottle. So it'd be very obviously hers. And then to make it even easier, I also got these stickers. Okay, so this is a little rainbow sticker that says return to Melina Valencia. Super cute. And I put those on all her water bottles. Now you can see, even though this sticker is supposed to be dishwasher safe, it is not. So I'm going to have to put like clear packing tape over it um, when the other water bottles actually get here to make them stay long term. And you will see that I did spend quite a bit of money on the water bottles. And the reason is because I like quality water bottles. I like the BPA free and I like that they won't fall apart. So I went ahead and bought Camelbacks. This is a thermos brand. And this brand is also fantastic. I've been very impressed with this. The Contigo ones that I bought previously, they don't work. The straws fall out and then she ends up having to drink them upside down. It's a huge pain in the butt. So yeah, hopefully she won't lose them. She doesn't normally lose stuff, knock on wood. And then I did mention the stickers. I got these to put on everything that we have that's plastic. So I got a lot. I think I got like a hundred of them and I got them off of Etsy. Super cute, I really like them. I also got these adorable clothing labels that are iron-on clothing labels for her jackets. This child cannot remember a jacket to save her life. She's getting better though. She is one of those kids that's always warm. So I send her in a jacket because it's chilly in the morning and within five minutes of getting to school and running around, she takes it off and then leaves it somewhere. Thus far, I have found them all, but I am putting iron-on labels in every single outfit that she has as soon as they get here. I will put a link to everything that I purchased down in the description box, not because you want to buy it, but if you want to just check it out and judge how much money I've spent. <laughs> Lord knows Mauricio is. So the next thing I got was for Melina's birthday and it was a mermaid tail blanket. And these are super, super popular. Melina has never asked for one, but I know she will love it. And I really liked this one because it's super sparkly. A lot of them are like knit blankets, but I liked this one. The next thing I got was snack bags. Melina has to take two snacks every day and I put an extra breakfast item in her lunch in addition to her actual lunch. So we were going through a ton of Ziploc bags because what happens is I make all of the lunches for me, Mauricio, and Melina every Sunday. It's a, like a couple hour process and I start and I, you know, I start by going and getting the groceries. And I can do a whole video on that if that interests you. Just leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to do a video on that. But I do that and then I pack everything. So literally the night before, I take the Ziploc bag for Melina and I put it in her lunchbox for the next day. And then I do the same with Mauricio Mines, but mine, our containers are Pyrex dishes, like, you know, the small square ones. And then I put a label with my label maker that says Mauricio lunch, Mauricio breakfast, Wendy lunch, Wendy breakfast, whatever, on there and it is done. And so his and I, mine are real easy to get. I just take them out and pop them in the lunch bag and throw a drink in there and we're good to go. Melina's is a little more complicated. So I was using about four Ziploc bags a day for Melina's lunches. And that's just ridiculous. I will be the first to admit I am not the greenest person on the planet because I frequently will pick convenience over environmental. <laughs> it is what it is. But the amount of Ziplocs that we were going through and the sheer cost of the Ziplocs was ridiculous. And I saw on Amazon these reusable Ziploc bags and they're insulated and adorable and they're dishwasher safe. So I got several of them, enough for I think two a day so I can put one with snack and one with lunch. And then I put her name label and the word snack on them. So since they are packed, I'm not having to use the Ziploc bag. So it's more environmentally friendly 
and it's easier. And they have Melina's name on it. So they come back to me and they don't get thrown away and it's great. The next thing also lunch supplies are these little sandwich boxes and bento making supplies. And basically what I do for Melina's lunch is I do a bento style lunch. I do, it's, or you could call it a lunchable style lunch. I take some deli meat, some cheese, a fruit, and I put them in one of these little sandwich boxes with the silicone baking cups. And I fill the baking cup with each food. So it just makes the cutest little lunch ever. It's adorable. And she loves it. And like one day last week, I put pieces of chicken. And one day there were little chopped up pieces of pizza. And, you know, I put all sorts of stuff. It's not always meat, cheese, and crackers. It's whatever I am making her for lunch that week. Chicken nuggets. Melina, I mentioned she went through another growth spurt recently. And all of her pajamas have become very small and very tight. So my mother actually picked up a bunch of pajamas for Melina at either Costco or Sam's one time when she was out and they're adorable and perfect, but I didn't know she was going to get them. And I actually ordered some pajamas online and I love to get her the Dolly and Me brand because she gets an outfit and then her American Girl doll has an outfit as well. And these were for the Dolly and Me brand. They were super cheap. And so it, I think it was like 14 or $16 for pajamas. And Dolly and Me is usually like 35 or 40 for the outfits. So I got her these pajamas and she loves them. For some reason, she calls them her Valentine's Day pajamas. I don't know. I think she thinks in their head these circles are hearts. But it's super cute. And then whenever she wears them, she puts her Dolly in them. And then the last thing that I'm going to talk about today are socks. Mauricio needed socks. And despite what he tells you, he does not need underwear. Don't, don't be listening to him. He needed some new socks for work and his other ones were all stretched out and falling down and they became slouchy socks. So we bought him these dress socks. So if you are new to my channel, be sure to click on my big laughing face to subscribe. And I will put up two videos for you to keep on watching. This one up here is my latest one. And this one here is one YouTube picked out just for you. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!